Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the timer on your washer. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a number two Phillips screwdriver, a small flat blade screwdriver, and a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now the first step in this repair will be to disconnect the power. So we'll simply pull the plug, and we'll want to pull the washer far enough forward so that we can access two Phillips screws that are in the bottom corners of the console. So we're Loosen both of those screws completely. Then we'll just give that console a little bump forward. And then we can just tilt it and roll it completely back out of the way. Our first step will be to take our needle nose pliers. We're just going to grasp this center shaft with them and get a good firm grip. And while holding it, pull the knob off on the front. We'll set that aside. We'll next need to remove the wire harnesses from the timer. So the flat blade, just reach in under the edge, disconnect that locking tab. Do the same with the large harness at the front. So tilt it forward. We're next going to remove that knob skirt. So just take a flat blade screwdriver and gently pry on the edge. And slide that off the timer shaft. And we can then roll the console back open again. Now next we need to lift up on this little locking tab at the base of the timer and it fits into a little square opening on the mounting plate. So just take a flat blade screwdriver, gently pry up on that, slide the timer forward and that will disengage all the mounting points and we can pull it away from the console. Now before we install the new timer, we first of all want to make sure that the center shaft is pulled fully out and that that pin down the middle of that is depressed completely. We can then fit the timer into the opening, lining up the four slots with the holes in the mounting plate. And slide it towards the outside, making sure that those all engage. And then reinstall the wire harnesses. And again, make sure that that locking tab engages to hold it securely. We can then rotate that console down into position. We'll next need to line up the skirt with the outer shaft. And the inner hub of that skirt has got a projection on it that will line up with a slot on that shaft. So once we line that up, that skirt should fit on there nice and easily. Now when installing the knob, just take note in the center portion of that that there are two flat sides that will correspond with the center shaft on the timer. Again, make sure that that center pin is fully depressed. And then just press the knob into position. Verify that it's latched on there. We can then secure the console to the main top and tighten the two Phillips screws at the back. We can then 
tighten the two screws that secure the console to the main top. We're now ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete. Thank you.